My birthday by Mr. Bounce. I was up and about in about in the morning, and after I went to check my calendar, today was my birthday. I was so excited. I went to put some some of my friends in my in my birthday list. I got my notepad and I wrote the title birthday people list. Then I wrote everybody I want to see. Mr. Small, Mr. Tom, and Mr. Greedy, Mr. Happy, and Mr. Cheeky, and all the other people that I was friends with. Then I I remembered if I wanted to make a birthday, I needed to get food. I went to the fruit shop and got some oranges to make some orange juice. Then I went to the cake shop to get a perfect cake. Then, when I got my cake, I went out of the door, and there I had a very small cake. I even bought a big one for the other people that were bigger than me, about forty-five milliliters taller than me. After that, after after cake shop, and I went back home. I started to make all the things, and I also forgot. I forgot to make party hats. Yes, I forgot to make party hats, and then when I forgot to make party hats, I also remembered I forgot to get presents for my best friends. I wanted to get them cards for them to show them that I was a good friend, and I think I was forgetting something else. Hmm, what was I forgetting? I couldn't think of it right now because I had because it was almost three o'clock in the afternoon where my friends were gonna come. I rushed into the into the hat shop and I got some birthday hats. After that, I went back home and I and I got them ready. I got everything ready, neat and tidy. And I also went to the card shop and I got a birthday and I got a friend card. On the card, it said, "You are my best friend ever." And then it said to write my name, and I wrote my name my name on every card, and then I went back home. After that, everything was ready. Well, I think it was. Yes. Oh, I remember. I forgot the balloons. I went back to I went to the balloon shop, and I got some balloons. I got the balloons, and I got out. Different colors. The Mr. Happy's one was yellow, so I was happy. When I went back home, I started to make everything. I put the balloons and I put everything else in right in its place. And finally, it was three o'clock in the afternoon. Then I heard a knock at the door. It was Mr. Small and Mr. Tall and Mr. Happy and all the other people. We had the best party ever. Mr. Greedy ate the cake and also ate the juices, which made me a little bit mad. But I was fine because Mr. Small and I had the little cake because Mr. Greedy wouldn't wouldn't want a cake that was very small, like a crumb. The birthday cake would. For Mr. Small and me, was like a cake crumb, yeah, but I didn't mind about that. Mr. Small and I just ate all the or ate the cake, and we were happy as ever. Then I was so happy, and everyone said goodbye, and and we um. So I thought about what we did, and I ro. What I did. Was I wrote down everything we did in the party so it would be like a memory that was saved. I was waiting there, and I also checked the list. First, we wrap. First, we unwrapped the presents and saw Mr. Happy got the best thing he'd ever wanted—a balloon. I put the balloons in the present boxes. Yeah, I brought them present because I was a very nice person, and I also and they gave me my present. What I got was a beach ball like me. And Mr. Small said, 
Maybe in fr- in Thursday he'd come over to say thank you for the best present ever. What Mr. Smalls got was a huge cake, and he's got a ma and he got some marmalade, a marmalade little jar that I've been making for like a week. After that, I was so proud of myself. I went, I went to see Mr. Small. Mr. Small and I had the best time ever. And then I said to myself, "This was the best party ever."